Hey, so now Rogue One is finally here, and I have a review coming out for you guys just in a couple of days time following this video. I have a little theory for you Clone Wars fans out there. So before Rogue One came out into the cinemas, a book called Rogue One the Catalyst novel came out. And that basically helped us tie in the odds and ends to Rogue One. It got us uh, to know the characters, their backstory, history, you know, just, just so you don't go into the film a little bit blind. Anyway, thanks to the book, we got confirmed that clone troopers officially became stormtroopers. And we witnessed, or read, the Empire being transitioned from the Republic, so the Venators being classed out and the TIE Fighters being made, coming off the production line, and the clone troopers, you know, being stormtroopers. We saw all that, you know, the Republic change into the Empire. But I have a theory to who actually are the Death Troopers. Okay, so thanks to the visual guide to Rogue One and Wikipedia, we get some little details on who and what the Death Troopers are and what type of training they went through. So first they start off as a, just a normal Stormtrooper, but they are excelling at their training. You know, they are the best of the best and they get, they get the noticed, they get pulled and then they take more and more tougher training to develop them into, let's just say, the Empire's Spartan Soldier. Okay, and then once they're trained up to the expectations of the Tarkin Initiative, they are signed to a high-ranking member of the Tarkin Initiative. And what is the Tarkin Initiative? It is a secret little organization within the Imperial Weapons Research Facility team. So the guys that go out and they research and build and develop all sorts of weaponry, ships, walkers, anything for the Imperial Army. You name it, they make it, and it's a secret little group in that group whose boss, the head of it, is Tarkin, with a few other directors around it, who henceforth is Director Krennic, who's also in there as well. And it's the Death Troopers who are assigned to each high-ranking member of the Tarkin Initiative. They were the SAS of the Imperial Navy. They would do research for everyone, for everything that... The Tarkin Initiative, the Imperial Navy wanted to know they would do the research for it. So that begs the question: If they are the special forces of the Empire, they are the best of the best. They are the best the Empire have to offer. They are their super soldier. Who are the best of the best of the Republic Army? Who are the best of the best out of the clones? Yes, you can say Arc Troopers, but. If you want reconnaissance, SAS type special forces, secret agent style missions, you look no further than the Republic Commandos, as they specialised in going deep in enemy lines behind the scenes, doing research, reconnaissance missions, doing SAS type missions for the Republic. So my theory is the Republic Commandos were phased out during Order 66, because in canon there's no explanation to what happened during Order 66 for the Commandos. In Legends, they tell us that half of them betrayed the Order 66 order, and the rest stayed on and then went under Vader's command in the 501st. But my theory is, I think that the Emperor, instead of putting them under the 501st in Legends, has put them with the Tarkin Initiative, or Tarkin has got him for himself and gone right I want them they're going to be my special army or the emperor himself could have gone right we still want you as a special lot but you're doing something different because there's no war on now for them to do anything with all they have to do is go out and do scouting missions it's not as active as it was during the republic and the separatist war the civil little war they got going on there you know so there we kind of be in a little sick back roll. Again, another bit you might ask is, Death Troopers are a bit tall. They are very tall. Well, maybe when Order 66 was issued and these guys were probably brought into Death Troopers, let's just say Delta Squad. At the time, they were kept short. But what happens if, say, Director Krennic said, oh, I want mine bigger, taller, look stronger, look fearsome towards the enemy. You know, make me look like a powerhouse, you know, scare the enemy, you know, be these bulk guys, you know, somebody to scare the crap out of someone, you know. 
And they altered their DNA because you know the Kaminoans were always altering the clones' DNA, playing about with it, hence for look at Bad Batch, you know, they're always doing it. And this could be one of them. This is why the Death Troopers are insanely tall. Because somebody asked them to alter them. So that is just my theory. If you think about it and put two and two together, we don't get much info at the start, but then as we come into Rogue One, we got a lot. What I was curious about is why they talked in that funny kind of Donald Duck accent, coded language. Theory is that they might be coded speech, as they're not undead, so they're not dead soldiers, they're nothing, they're not robots, they are clones. They are clones, and they are the best of the best. So being who were the best of the best of the clones, being the commandos, you would think that the commandos were being transitioned during Order 66 when the Empire were, be, you know, were ditching the Old Republic, they were getting rid of the Arc 1 70 fighters, 70 fighters, you know, get rid of the acclimators, you know, changing the armor, bringing the stormtroopers in, you know, death troopers were born from the old commando units. And then, as you can see, they don't have too much to worry about. Their first present battle was Scarif, their training was on Scarif, so we won't be seeing much more of them in the near future, unfortunately. But that is my theory of who are the Death Troopers. My theory, my, my, I want to hope that it's that they are commandos. Because there is nothing about them in canon that says what happened to them. There is a little bit, apparently in the Twilight Battlefront um, novel. Did a little bit of reading, couldn't find too much. Anyway... That's just my theory. Okay, so that is my theory. I hope I'm correct. It would be great to see or hear that the Republic Commandos have been transitioned, changed into the Death Troopers. That would be great. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Anyway, I thank you guys for watching this quick theory. My Rogue One review is on the way very soon. I've gone to see it for a third time and I think I'm happy with what, I, what I've seen. But the review is to come. And if I don't see you in another gaming video, or I don't see you in the McDonald's somewhere, then uh, have a good life.